guys, welcome to another video in the Precision Laser Instrument uh, YouTube series. Um, today we're actually going to be going into the RealWork software and we are going to be discussing uh, the segmentation and touching on the limit boxes as well. Um, the data set that we have right here has a bunch of information into it that we want to clean out um, and we're going to kind of go over how to use the segmentation tool to properly clean this point cloud. So to, to begin with, at least to get started, I like to start by starting up a limit box. So I'm going to create the limit box and have it be the size of the project. Something like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this thing down to where I get rid of the ceiling, as well as any overhead features I may want to keep, like overhead piping and whatnot. So you see I got rid of all of that, and we're down to just looking into the bare room. So there's that. In the opposite direction, I want to drag up and get rid of the floor. So there is our floor removed and our ceiling removed, leaving us with rock piles, equipment, um, any sort of ghosting for people being in the point cloud, as we can see down here. And we're going to go through and get all this stuff cleaned up so we just have a, a blank slate or an empty room to start with. So the best way to, do, to uh, clean up the point cloud is we'll click on the cloud. And uh, right here on the home tab, you have segmentation. So we're going to open up segmentation. Now segmentation has three different sort of selections. You can do this polygon or freehand, uh, the uh, rectangular selection, or the circular selection. Now for a space like this, generally you're gonna to wanna to use uh, the polygon. And you wanna make sure as well that we have the box selection on as well to, to make sure that we only select things that we, are, uh, that we have shown here instead of things outside of the limit box. So what I'll do is I'll come over here to the, uh, to the left and I'll change this to a top-down view. And we can see clearly all of the columns and we're also going to make sure that our view is in parallel because if we have it in perspective, we're not going to be able to draw very crisp lines. We're going to leave it in parallel to make sure that everything stays nice and clean. So under the segmentation, I'm going to have it in uh, polygonal select. And I'm just going to start clicking anything that does not belong. And we can you know, go back and look and say, okay, those are a couple of lifts. Put it back into a top-down view. And then we can start drawing our segmentation boxes, making sure to grab anything that does not belong within that cloud. Now we can see here we do want to avoid adding columns into our segmentation. So I'm going to work around those. I like grabbing as much information as I possibly can. And when you're done, just click on the out. And now you can see those points are now missing. Now I'm going to go ahead and probably speed this up and clean up the rest of the point cloud and I'll show you the last step.
another little tip that you can actually do is while you're clicking, if you have an area that you can quickly go through, if you hold down the shift key, it'll allow you to just paint the area instead of having to click in between each node. Do you have your main area clean? The main thing you're going to want to focus on is turning off your limit box before you hit the create. So I turn my limit box off, I'll then hit the create button, and now you can see all the trash is now on its own region. And actually I messed up right here, and uh, one of the columns went into the trash region, but I'll show you how to put that back. And then we can close. So now if I look at my object, and I go down into my station-based view, you can see all of those pieces now are now have been removed and are now no longer part of the project cloud. So if you do make a mistake, so here's my object four, which I can call this my cleaned up, or my cleaned cloud. I'll now go back into my merge command or go back in my merge cloud and we see we have, we have this one column that I mistakenly removed. So what I can do now is I can go back in my examiner view, find that column under the home tab, I can go back under segmentation. I'll grab that column and I'll say go ahead and keep that in. We'll create it and we'll close. So now this is my column. And now I can do different views of this. So I can say, let's do it from the front. And now we can go under segmentation. We can do a rectangle select, grab just the column. Say, keep that in. Now rotate it the other direction. So we'll save from the left. Do the same thing, keep that in. Create and close. So that leaves us now with our, our column. So now we have our column and then our cleaned cloud. I can just highlight both of these at the same time by holding down the control key, right click, and say merge the clouds. And that will give me this merge. And go to my view, station based. And now we can see that column is back in place right where it belongs. So there was a quick tutorial on the segmentation tool within the Trimble RealWorks software. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments, and I'll try to get back to those as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.